Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about some basic natural remedies that I have that will help improve your eczema. These natural remedies are really really quick, um, very easy to be incorporated into your everyday life and are great in combination when using creams and other products. If you haven't already please subscribe, I would really appreciate it and hit the thumbs up button if you think this video is helpful and if you're interested in seeing my natural remedies to clear eczema then please keep watching. Natural remedy number one is to swap out your normal soap and change it for African black soap. African black soap is something that I have been using for about eight months now and I found it really, really helpful. Uh, it's not the prettiest looking thing. Um, you can get it in liquid form and also bar form, like a kind of bar of soap. And uh, I use it now to wash my hands instead of like a normal soap that you could buy from the supermarket. It's made of lots of natural ingredients and really helps your skin feel moisturized. It's really helpful when I have cracks in my skin because I know that it's getting in there and really cleaning it out which will make it heal quicker. Um, but I really I really like it. Obviously it's not the nicest looking thing, I understand that. It's like a kind of brownie colour and the bar of soap doesn't look particularly nice. But these natural products are really helpful in cleaning your skin. A lot of people have recommended this to me um, when I've looked on kind of online. African black soap is something that helps keep your hands clean and also helps get rid of your eczema. My next natural remedy is to do a salt water steep. I used to do salt water steeps on my hands and feet about twice a week and I often saw a difference in my skin the next day. So I would maybe salt steep my hands in the evening and in the morning they would look significantly different. It often took the redness away, it would help close any openings that I had on my skin and my hands and feet did feel a little bit softer. Now this hurts a little bit. If you do have openings in your skin, and you do put some salt on it and put it in the water, it is going to sting. That's totally normal, don't worry. But if you can deal with the small stinging pain, then definitely do because it is something that's really, really worth it. This is also really helpful if you've got any cuts or any injuries. It just helps get in, the salt gets in there and cleans out the openings and the wounds and, and really encourages it to heal up a lot faster. This is also something that's really easily accessible. All you need is a big bowl, some warm water and some salt. So everybody in their house has salt in a bowl. So this is something that you don't require, like additional things that you don't need to actively go out and buy anything to do. If you put your eczema in some warm salty water, I can definitely confirm it will make it a lot better. My next natural remedy is to do your own DIY skin wrap. Obviously if you watched my last video you will know that I have actually been prescribed skin wraps to use on my arms and legs which I have been using and have been really really great. I will talk about them in another video but before I had the prescribed versions I used to make my own. I have eczema on my hands so often at night time before I go to bed I kind of put a really generous amount of moisturiser on and put some gloves on over the top. Um, obviously this isn't it for everybody's taste, some people don't like being fully covered when they're that in their beds at night but I do think that having the gloves on keeps the moisturiser on your hands and doesn't encourage it to be wiped off onto anything else. Um, so a really really generous amount, pop it on your hands and put some gloves on and then the next morning hopefully you'll feel a lot more moisturised than what you did if you didn't put the gloves on. Again, you can do this with any other parts of your body. Obviously, if you're putting it on your legs, make sure you've got some more kind of secure clothing on, or if you're doing it on your arms, make sure you wear a long sleeve. But um, I do think this is very helpful. It encourages the moisturizer to stay on your skin. It's obviously not the most professional thing to do, but it's definitely an alternative that can also be very effective. My last basic remedy is to use a wax bath. My mum had a wax bath in the loft that had been there for several years. When we were slowly running out of ideas to try and treat my eczema, um, she brought it down and we thought we would give it a shot. It's basically just a tub um, that you put some white paraffin wax in. You can get this from kind of beauty stores, kind of more like, I know like Sally's and like Salon Services, they do wax things like this. Um, and you put the wax into the tub and plug it into the wall and it starts to melt. The melting process takes some time, it does take a few hours, so if you're wanting to do something like this you need to be a little bit more prepared. It's something that I never thought of before but actually is incredibly helpful. Once the wax is heated eh, and fully melted, you make sure your hands are washed and dried and you slowly dip your hands into the wax and remove them. You do this about six times. Um, each time you need to make sure that the top layer of wax has dried in before you dip it back in. 
it's actually quite a quick process. The wax does probably take about maybe 10 to 15 seconds to dry. So once you've got your six layers on, you put your hand inside of a bag. <laughs> this bag helps keep the warmth of the wax on your skin. And that's you, you just sit for 15 to 20 minutes or until the wax is fully turned cold. Creams that I've spoken about in the last couple of weeks, for example, Diprobase, that is a white paraffin based cream. So by taking all those other ingredients away and just solely using the soft white paraffin, which um, you're dipping your hands into, is a really, really helpful way to help keep your hands moisturised. Now this isn't solely just for your hands, you can put your feet into the wax bath also, but I've also had instances where we've tried to put it on my legs. Obviously you can't dip your leg in, it's not going to work, and you can't decant the wax into another container as it will stop melting. It does have restrictions in that sense as you can only really use your hands and your feet, but we have in the past kind of ladled it onto my arms or like onto my legs and then used um, clean film um, and wrapped, wrapped it around my legs. It has been very, very helpful, but it can get quite messy. So I also recommend if you're doing something like this to have someone there to help you. It is very difficult to do it on your own, eh? especially if you're trying to wax bath one hand while the other is in a bag um, heating up. So yes, definitely ask for some help, get an extra pair of hands in there to make sure that you're doing it as effectively as you possibly can. There we go, there are some of my basic natural remedies that I use to help clear up my eczema. I hope they've been helpful and obviously some of them are so simple that you can literally go and try them right now. I will leave as many links as I can below to hopefully some wax baths, some African black soap where you can buy it online and some of the moisturisers that I use when I do my skin wraps. So please go and give them a go, hopefully they will be helpful to you as they're not medicated. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I would really, really appreciate it uh, as I've got some kind of non-skincare content planned for the next couple of weeks, which is quite exciting. So yeah, uh, I hope you're all well. I hope you're staying safe and I will see you next week for a brand new video. Bye. Here we go. That are some, that are some. If you've not got eczema or any skincare problems, please stick around. Stick around. Be right back. I will see you soon for my next video.